Hello, One Piece Nation here, and I'm joined by... Yo, what is up, guys? It is Phantom Resonance. Yeah, and we're talking about Young Justice. I know this is a little bit different, but what the hell? It's animated, so why not? Yep, and Season 3 has finally been confirmed. Yeah, so we figured we'd just talk for a little bit about our overall predictions for it, because we honestly had no idea where this is going to go. Yeah, like, there's so much they can do with this. There's so much. So, I don't believe any of this is based on the comics. Like, is it all completely original? Yes, everything done from Young Justice is completely original. So we can't, so there is no story that I know of where Vandal, Savage, and Darkseid team up to take out the Justice League. So, I'm assuming they're going to attack Earth. I'm assuming. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like during this, the Justice League will be pretty much tricked into going somewhere else thinking, oh, well, maybe we can stop him there. And I then agree. that's where our team comes in for Young Justice. Yeah, I agree. The problem, though, is there's no one on Young Justice who can stop Darkseid. True. Like, I'm sorry. They're a great team. They're good. They have a lot of powerful people. Well, then again, don't they, like, they have Supergirl, don't they? Um, no. Well, maybe they might have this in a new iteration, but she was only in there for quite some... I'd say a very short time, didn't she? But if she exists in this universe, she could stop. She could potentially yeah, stop. Yeah, she, she does exist in this universe, though. So that she could stop. There is a chance of her stopping your side. Yeah. And we can't really, really just give, like, just throw off the other members of the team like that because, um,. There have been cases where Darkseid has been defeated by lesser beings, and to be honest, they, I mean, if they fought Trigon, which is literally Satan, I feel like they have a chance against um, Darkseid. Yeah. I don't remember them fighting Trigon. That happens? Because, oh. um... Oh, yeah, they, they did fight Trigon that one time, yeah. yeah. But, I uh, mean... Uh, I don't even know where could this go... So I'm assuming, I don't think they're going to do another invasion though. Maybe the team, maybe the Justice League and the team like team up and they go to Apocalypse to take down Darkseid. Yeah, I can see that. But then again, is, like... is it Apocalypse like politically, but is it Apocalypse like protected by political laws of the universe or something? It's like, it's really hard explaining that and to be honest, I don't even remember it damn well myself. Yeah, I don't like either. Yeah, there's some stuff I'm a little fuzzy with my memory when it comes to um DC laws and political standpoint on the universes. No, they they have this is not like a Marvel where it's just like everything separate. They have like intergalactic polit- politics and polit- political laws. Yeah, what I feel like that's a really good thing that they do because at least now we get an original d- idea with these characters. Yeah. But yeah. And, uh, and, Wally West is dead. I just realized... Well, is Wally West dead? Let's talk about that. To be honest, another thing I feel like that's gonna happen is that we're gonna get a time skip. And the time skip is pretty much gonna explain if Wally... Do, if they do choose to bring back Wally, it's gonna probably explain that. It's probably gonna explain what happened in between Season 2 and Season 3. Because Season 2 left out left us on the cliffhanger. And I feel like with Season 3, it's gonna... It's going to resolve the cliffhanger, but it's going to be able to give us another backdrop on all the characters and kind of give us more, give the new people who are coming in the Young Justice like, oh, well, I can finally check this out. Gives them kind of a more backstory of these characters and what has happened throughout yeah. their journey. Maybe we'll finally get more information on them. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know, it's all very, everything in here is weird. They're in such a different universe. Yeah, and it's like, you can't use any comic as reference, so it's original story, so we're just sitting here, we're just like, okay, we're hyped, we know what they're going to do, and DC has done so well with this series to where I'm very excited to see where this is going. Yeah, and I, and I don't doubt it's going to be good. I don't doubt, this is one of the few DC things, DC's animated property, they're the only thing that I have full confidence in them with. They have not fucked up so far. They have, I don't think they messed up one. But if Wally West was to come back, I think we can both predict how that's gonna happen already. Speed Force. Yeah. It's kind of an obvious thing that's happening. <laughs> yeah, like he'll be crafting with Speed Force and he'll like get after that. 
But, but it has like, been stated that most speakers have outran deaths, like literally outran deaths. So maybe yeah. that happened. But he though much slower than the Flash, and the Flash would have trouble outrunning death. True, true. And I mean, this is a different version of Wally West. This isn't the Wally West that the Flash yeah, is the Flash. This is a much weaker one. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, and uh, and then now Impulse, maybe Barry Allen died and then Wally West come back? That was an idea. To be honest, that would actually make a lot of sense, because then it would have some connection to the comic, but not too much. Like, it's... Well, no, because the problem with Impulse and Kid Flash now, that's the reason I brought that up. Yeah. I think, well, what would Wally be when he came back? That's true. It'd be kind of like a rebirth thing. Yeah, kind of. It'd be like something from DC Rebirth. With DC, will probably... I see them using this as a way to try to be like, this is Rebirth. Check out our Rebirth. It's really good. We want your money. Like, our comics are in garbage now. New 52 is gone. New 52 is gone. We're done with that. We're done with that. That's basically... I feel like that's one of the biggest bonuses in this. We can really, we can use a concept, though, from the comics that were this thing pre-New 52. We did great. Yeah, and it makes a lot of sense. And to be honest, I, the reason I'm mainly hyped for Young Justice 3, Season 3 is because, again, I was, man, I wasn't the biggest Young Justice fan until later on, like, after it was finished. And I was like, oh, man, I kind of got here late. Yeah, and I know. I got, in, I got involved in it late, too. Yeah, I got there, like, super late. Because, again, I was one of those poor, unfortunate kids that didn't have cable. Um. So I couldn't get it. But as I finally got cable and eventually got Netflix and I just sat down and watched a lot of it, I was like, this was really, really good and I really want to see where this is going. But they couldn't do it because cancellations because of uh, Teen Titans Go, which... <sighs> Let's not talk about it. Let's, we're not here to rant about Teen Titans Go. Oh, and by the way, to anybody saying this means there's a chance of Teen Titans coming back, that's never going to happen. Yeah, that's no way. See, Young Justice is coming back because it's new and it has a relatively new, young, fresh fan base and it can be saved economically. Teen yeah. Titans would make money, but not nearly as much as they would need it to make and nobody and nobody who watches it would go out and buy toys. True. And not just that, let's face it, Young Justice is in the Teen Titans Season 3. I got to that is the next season of Teen Titans. Let's face it, Young Justice, it has all the heroes that we know that they're grown up, and it makes sense. Yeah, the thing, what we would have back from the next, from about, uh, what, the fifth season of Teen Titans? The thick? Okay, you repeat that? I think this is what the team and you next season of Teen Titans would have been. Yeah, this is exactly how they would have done it. But overall, I'm pretty much hyped for it, yeah. and I'm excited to see where it's going. Do you think anybody's gonna die? Mmm, probably. Well, we know that DC's not gonna be shy away from that idea, so yeah, I can see a couple characters dying. If it, if it, if it's on Netflix, I see them maybe bringing in Red Hood. Oh, uh, oh, ooh, I have mixed feelings on Red Hood, but I don't want to rant on that. No, but I've been in general, but if it's on Netflix, they really need to go the whole kid show route, like, they can kind of do whatever they want. Yeah, they can kind of, I can see giving it more of a TV PG through 14 rating if they bring in Red Hood, which is something I'm real. I'd be willing to watch, because I'm like, well, it's Red Hood, what the work that could happen, and plus, DC knows how to handle their characters. Yeah, and then you can, you can send the Red Hood, like, you can just have situations where Robin and Dick are kind of just, like, Robin and Dick. <laughs> Batman and Dick are kind of just like, no, no guns, man, and he's like, fine. I know that yeah, you a lot of the Batman comics, they're like, no guns, and he's like... And he'll like, he'll, he knows how to adjust in like, pretty much, Any you know, he, yeah, he's like, okay, I, no guns, I got you. Okay, if Wally came back, you think he would retire again? Probably, because I feel like he'll be like, okay, maybe the beef, maybe I can't continue this because this is my second time dying. True. He's gonna be like, okay, I can't really do this as much as I used to. Uh, yeah, and Artemis will, pro well, Artemis will probably quit again, I would assume. Yeah. And, uh, are you worried about the romance? I don't want the romance, but yeah, I don't want it. 
See, when it comes to romance for me in general, it doesn't really bother me as much, because considering, heck, a lot of even um, other TV shows that I watch that do have romance in it, it doesn't really bother me. Like, oh, well. I don't kind mind of... if it done well, but like, I'm getting, I got a very, like, Legend of Korra kind of vibe from season two. It was, like, a lot of, like, there was drama there, and I didn't want to. I'm fine with romantic relationships, but when there's drama in them, I'm kind of like, yeah, I kind of agree with you on that point. I'm kind of like, listen, I'm here to see hero beat the shit out of villain. I don't need to see something. I don't need to see McGann and Superboy relations to problem. Like, they can fist it off screen, sure. Or if they want to fist it in, like, one episode, go ahead. But don't make that be, like, a center. That was, like, a thing in season two. Yeah. I, I don't know. It depends. I don't feel like the romance ruins it, but I just don't want it as frequent as it was in the last few seasons as you've seen. It stayed, wasn't like, even frequent in season one. In season one, it was just like, like happening in the other. In season two, it was like part of the character. Yeah, and I feel like that kind of you you drag out a lot of things when it comes to romance, and that's the only that's the only gripe with DC animated series is that when it comes to them finally introducing a love interest, they kind of drag it out. Like, they drag My it out. My problem was just that they, they, they set up this entire relationship in season one, and then they ended it, and then they turned into drama. I'm like, that is such, that just screams from marketing. Yeah. And I don't, like, I gar- I, I already have, I had this theory, alright, that they're going to make McGann and Superboy, they're going to do a time skip, and McGann and Superboy will be back together again. And to be honest, I hope it's like I don't hope they do that, but at the same time, it'd be a I'm okay with it. Just don't make it like a full out plot point. Like we're we know yeah, they're together. I know, but it still is like it, 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 I feel like that's kind of too much of a marketing bias. And I get I get it to get both the male and the female um audience because I get I that, these... but you all they also they established a legitimate problem. It wasn't like they weren't getting along. They established a legitimate flaw in this relationship on the gang's part that can't really be undone. So I'm like, please don't. No, leave it. Leave the, leave the relationship the way they are and just be done with those. Yeah. All of those either have been built up enough to be left in stone without ruining the characters. I already, I already stopped liking McGann after season two. I never really enjoyed her character very well. I mean, I mean, it's like the, the, the fact that she was like mind raping people with a little. I mean, she gonna do it. She gonna do more of it in season three. We know. Yeah. So more mind like, rape to more people. But um, yeah. So here's a question: Are all the voice actors gonna come back? See, that's what like it. I honestly feel like if it's a large project, and some tell me even some voice actors were petitioning for it to come back, so I have high, I really doubt they won't be back. True. Like it's a high doubt that they the won't be back. The people involved in this show knew it was good. They were aware. Like, they did not want... They really hated to see that project go, because it, it, wasn't, it wasn't done like normal superhero shows. It was giving us something different. Something dark or gritty, but not too dark. Yeah, like, it gave us something to where, like, okay, I can, it's, it targeted towards teenagers, and I'm not even going to say towards kids, it targeted towards teenagers and young adults, but everybody found something to love about that show. Yeah, I'll be honest, I do feel like you get a little, I do feel the only thing I hope they fit in season three, and I hope me and you'll agree with me on this, I hope they either, if they're going to do a, like, if they're going to do a continuing story, do a continuing story properly, don't do, like, one episode kind of tied into the other one, but not really. It's just, yeah, I like... Agree with you there. I got there. There were times where I got very confused about what was irrelevant and what wasn't. Because it wasn't until the end. They're like, oh, they're secretly with Kinect. And I'm like, guys, no, that's not how it works. If you're going to do a continuing story, it needs, they need to be prevalent in every episode. Not... Not relevant. You shouldn't be something we don't realize is relevant to to each other until like ten episodes later. No, each episode needs to connect. Not none of them connect, and then they all connect at the end. 
Yeah, because, I mean, we're going to have a continuing story. Keep Be consistent about it. Yeah. And that's the one thing I agree with One Piece on, that don't have it only tie in. Or if you're going to do something with that, make sure it ties in deeply in the roots of the story. Don't yeah. try to, oh, well, I'm going to throw you from the... No, keep it going. I mean, I get it. The kids, you know, they needed it. It was, it was originally a kid's job. Even if it is a kid's show, like, I'm pretty sure most of their audience kind of like, okay, wait a minute, but there was something that happened here. What about that? Yeah, what about that? Why are you talking? Why are they, like, they, there's this whole thing with the light going on. Why are they worrying about this minor villain that's never going to be relevant? Yeah, like, there had to be a reason for it. Yeah. And that, though, that, might, that was really the only few gripes I had with the um, Young Justice, really. Yeah. Young Justice is, I don't want to say perfect. But it kind of is. I would say it does a good job of interpreting some. It, it does a good job of representing the DC brand. Yeah. Which I kind of wish that the movies would take that route. Cough, cough. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Okay, last, last thing to discuss. Will the Justice League be relevant or irrelevant? I kind of want them to be irrelevant only because I wanted to focus on the main cast of Young Justice. Like, it's not called. Young Justice League, it's called Young Justice. Like, these are a team of teenagers that I really want to see. Like, even though they were they were prevalently relevant in in Young Justice Season 2 and Season 1, but it's like they were barely there, and I was like, okay, I can get with that. Because it's like, I want them to focus on the them as heroes, them growing up and developing. And if it ever happens, if the Justice League was to fall, I want them to be able to say, okay, guys, time to pick up the mantles where they left off. I agree with that, but I also feel like they're getting to the point where it's unreal that they get like, how could these morons have protected the planet so long? True. Like, True. you got it. There were times in season one when they all got mind control. Like, what, Batman doesn't have a plan for this? I refuse to believe that. I'm like, no, there is no way the entire Justice League would be controlled. And there's like multiple times where you're just thinking about, like, how are superheroes like Superman and Batman getting bodied that easily? Like, they're just getting beat that easily. Yet, these teenagers can beat these villains easily. Like, they can beat them no problem. Well, there was never actually a time they fought a guy that could beat Superman. That never happens. That's true. Because they've never... I don't think they even fought Darkseid or... Not Darkseid, um, Doomsday or anything yet. Dude, if they fought Doomsday, they would all die. Let's all be honest. Yeah, like, there's no... I mean, if it's the old book. I mean... I hope they try to do something with Superboy. I feel like Superboy, I've always thought he was too weak in this universe. Yeah, I know he is kind of outside of the Young Justice universe, but I hope they give him a little bit more, you know, of power. As a I, I don't like him being like a, yeah, that's all he really is with power. With, I'm the tough guy and I'm powerful, but I'm like, but you're not even very powerful. It's like, he did more of a street level powerful, to be honest. Yeah, he's more of like Spider Man kind of level. Yeah, like, th that's actually the perfect comparison. Spider Man, yeah. He's about as strong as probably like Spider Man is, and I'm kind of like. Just a clone of one of the most broken, fictional characters ever. And, yeah. But all I gotta say is, I'm really excited. Yeah. And I can't wait to see it. Yeah, and uh, I'm assuming we're both going to be covering this. I know I am. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to cover because I haven't been as consistent with news lately, but I will. I'm definitely going to cover it. Like, I'm definitely going to review it. I don't know if I'll cover the news. I may do, like, predictions and talk and, like, pre preparation video, but I'll definitely be reviewing it. Yeah, me too. That's the definite. Yeah. And uh, hopefully... I found terrible hope it won't be on Netflix because I don't have Netflix, but whatever. To be honest, the same thing because my Netflix just ran out, so... Yeah, and I, and I don't want to get Netflix just for Young Justice. Yeah, because that's going to be hard to explain. Oh, well, I'm only getting it for Young Justice, but I did yeah, it for... Yeah, you have to realize we're kids, we're teenagers, so, yeah. like, we're not the ones that will be paying for Netflix. Yeah, and it's like to be honest, I did it for I did it for Jessica Jones, I did it for um Daredevil, I did it for Luke Cage, I'll try it again. Yeah. Well, it's all yeah. I mean, I would. I mean, then I that it would be benefit to to me. But then I could watch the other Marvel stuff too, which I that like I've never seen Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. I've never seen it. 
Oh, you gotta give those a try, yeah, bro. No, because I don't have death blood, so I could never watch them. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, cool. yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Phantom's channel, if it's a question. Great comic book content, which is something you're not gonna see much of on here. So definitely go check him out. I'm trying to incorporate a bit of it, but, you know, I'm, I am a One Piece anime channel. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. How hyped are you for New Unjustice? What are your predictions? Tell us in the comments. We love hearing what you guys have to say. Like the yep. video if you enjoyed. And subscribe. Nitro. Uh, the Phantom. Any lack, Any clothing words? Um, you guys have a good day and um, get ready for that Young Justice.